All right, hello YouTube. We're back to the great adventures of George. We're delving deep into George's origin story here, and uh, we made it up to this ledge again. Um, we got to act carefully now to get George back to his husband, his husband Duncan, who's as sweet as a donut, um, and uh, the freaking Jenkins, the. Uh, the 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 jukebox man, the vinyl the vinyl record salesman, Jenkins. Um, we got to get George back to his village. We got to get him back before before Baba Yaga strikes fear into the town, and um, everything goes south. Cause you can't you can't do it, George. Cause cause the thing is, George, is you know that everyone in that town. They'll accept you and believe you, George, because even though you're half-naked and stuck in a cauldron, you have a lot of support in that village. They support everybody. <clears throat> They're a very supporting village. And they love, they love you for who you are. And that is the best quality of this village. The village's name is Lovetown. It, you're trying to get to the great village of Lovetown. You're, it's been your hometown for years. Um, okay, so can we get to the top of this, perhaps? Nope. All right. All right. No, that's all right. That's all right. I wonder if we can get to the top of that and then perhaps, like, vault over. But if we go like that and then like that. Nope. Get your hammer out of there, George. we got to get you to your husband, Duncan, who makes the finest donuts in all the land. That's also his thing. Is um, he also makes donuts? He's not just as sweet as a donut, and his pet name isn't just donuts for no reason. No, he makes freaking great donuts. He'll make you an old-fashioned donut. He'll make you cream-filled. He'll make you freaking maple bars. Oh, they're some of the finest donuts in the world. And you also got to get back, George, so you can have a donut with your husband after this is all over, because that's the thing: is you guys aren't gonna have a wedding cake. You're gonna have a wedding tower of donuts. And it's going to be lovely. It's going to be great. You got the wedding planner is all there. He's planning your wedding. It's going to be the best in the land. Oh, hey, we made it up here. All right, now we just got to launch ourselves over there. Whoop. Easy there, George. Easy there. Easy. Okay. Okay, there you go, George. So if we just swing ourselves around. Nope. Swing ourselves or Swing ourselves. Swing... <laughs> Feeling like a broken record. A record salesman. Just like uh, freaking Jenkins, the record salesman. You know. Who always sells you vinyl records because you love them so much. You get your vinyl records of freaking Led Zeppelin playing in the background. That That's what's going to be playing at your wedding. You're just going to have freaking immigrant song playing. It's like, do you, George, take Duncan to be your lawfully wedded husband? And you're like, I do. But in the background, it's like, ah. And then it's like, Duncan, do you take George to be your lawfully wedded husband? And he's like, I do. And in the background, it's like, come from the land of the ice and snow from the midnight sun where the harsh winds blow. Hammer of the God. See, that's the thing, George, is you you, you stole freaking Mjolnir because you are worthy. This is freaking Mjolnir. You're using Mjolnir to climb a mountain. Because that's the thing is you don't have the powers of Thor, but you sure are worthy, George. So you can't use it to fly or anything like that. But you can sure use it to heck and climb a mountain. That's what you do, George. You freaking you're using Mjolnir to climb a mountain to get over it with Bennett Foddy. That's the thing, George, is because that's that's the real the real challenge here. Because you have a lot of fans, George, and Bennett Foddy's one of them. That's why he he made this to get you through your your stuff to get you to the top of this mountain. And to get you back to your husband, Duncan. And it's going to be great, George. Oh, the, the town will rejoice when you return. There's going to be much rejoicing. And it's going to be great. Um, it's going to be it's going to be the best time ever. How do we get, how do we get up here? We got on the light, is what happened, I think. All right, George. We gotta, we gotta get you. We gotta get you home to your, to your lovely husband. See, that's what I'm wondering: is what did I do the first time? Um, 
But the thing is, the first time, I can't even remember, did I even have this backstory, the origins of George? Oh, that's the wrong way, George. That's all right, though. That's all right. We're going to get you up and over again. We're going to get you up and over again. That's not what I meant, but that's all right, George. Here you go. Up and over. Whoop. Nope. Oh, easy there, George. Whoop. Okay, all right. Now, we're, we're treading in dangerous waters because over this rock here is the endless void of the bottom. But that's okay here. Because we're not going to do that. And even if we do, George, we'll get you to your husband yet. Whoop! Easy there, George. See, over that cliff there is the endless void of doom. Where That's where, that's where Baba Yaga awaits. Alright, let's pull you in closer. Closer. Do -da -do. Let me whisper in your ear. Do da do and the words you long to hear. I'm in love with George. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> All right. No, we got this. I'm just. All right. I'm. I'm gonna hold. Take my hands off the mouse. I'm gonna assess the situation, cause George, we gotta get you back to your husband. It's gonna be. Uh, a m most triumphant reunion. And it's going to be lovely. I believe in you. Alright, we're going to lift you up. There you go, George. Let's get you a little closer here. Let's get you a little closer. And now let's lift you up. There you go, George. Alright, we're going to, 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 we're going to. Alright, we're going to go over, we're going to go like that. We're going to set you down. That's what we intend to do. We're gonna bring in this in a little bit closer. Not like that though. We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna scrape this down here. Alright, George, we're just gonna launch ya! That went well. That went very well. We're gonna do it again. Oh, not quite. That's okay, George. That's alright. There you go. There you go. We got we got your hammer up. We got frickin' hammer of the gods, frickin' Mjolnir, all up in here. All right, this is how we messed up the first time or two. Can we can we just do that? Oh, that kind of worked. All right. All right, George. Yes, you're looking at them bulging biceps. Remembering the way that Duncan used to look at them bulging biceps. Your lovely donut making bacon donut making bacon husband. Because your your husband brought home the bacon. Well, you and your husband both did because you contributed equally to this lovely relationship. Um, cause you, you brought in the sales <clears throat> of your cauldrons and freaking <clears throat> Duncan was in, in the, the bakery bonding with the community. And, um, it was, it was lovely, George. You had everything and you got to get back to that now. You got to get back to, to your roots. You got to get back to what everything means, George. And what everything means is your husband, Duncan, because you love him and he loves you. And it's a beautiful relationship. And you, every, 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 you guys actually got married, or no, you didn't get married yet. You're gonna get back and marry him. You guys, um, you guys got, um, oh, oh, that, well, that kind of worked. I don't know how I did that though. Um, no, but George, <clears throat> you're gonna get back to your husband. There's gonna be a lovely ceremony, and you're gonna save the town. You're gonna save the town, George. <clears throat> Ooh, easy there. You're gonna save the town from the evil witch that tried to eat you. And everything is going to be lovely and beautiful. I don't know how I did that. I'm not going to lie to you. But George... Oh, George. Once you get back to your town, the town of, of love... Did I, did I literally call it love? I think that's what I just called it. Um, it's going to be beautiful. The town will rejoice and everyone... They'll have George Day. <clears throat> and it's going to be celebrated on the this day, the day George saved the town from evil witch Baba Yaga. And it's going to be freaking George Day. It's going to be known throughout the land as George Day. All right, let's get over here. Um, is that where you keep taking your garbage to? You've been wondering. You, somebody stole your garbage can, and oh man, it was probably them the nasty mountain trolls. They probably came down from the mountains and stole 
your freaking trash can. No, just just rotate a little bit. Just rotate a little bit. And launch! There you go, George. You tried. An A for effort is all you can ask for. All right, here you go. We're just gonna we're just gonna launch. Not quite. Not quite what I had in mind. Launch. Also not quite what I had in mind. Launch. Mm, I believe in you, George. Nope. Easy. Easy. Easy now. Easy does it. Let's pull you in. There you go, George. That's the Georgie I know and love. When when you get home, George, there's going to be a big pile of donuts waiting for you. Your husband's going to be sitting next to a fire reading a book. You're going to walk in and you're going to you're going to eat some food together. He's going to have a lovely dinner. It's going to be a roasted duck uh with with cr like a cranberry sauce. It's going to be great because your husband also he he's a baker, but he also he really knows how to cook. And you provide all the cauldrons for the cooking. All the soups you guys make. It's great. It's the best. Here you go, George. Here you go. The moment of truth. Can George do it? Here he goes. Ooh, all right, we're up here. We're up here. It's a start. Nope. Easy there. All right. Oh, that's okay. Here we go. Boom. Nope. Why did you do that? All right, here you go, George. Boom. We gotta get you to your husband. We're getting you to your husband, George. We're getting them. We're getting you there. We're getting you there. Don't worry. There you go, George. Yeah, I tried. There you go, George. Nope. There you go, George. There you go, George. <laughs> oh, all right. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I'm not there. I did not die. Then why would there be a grave? That's interesting. Okay. You just received word from HQ, George. You got a little radio piece in your ear that you had to retrieve an item from the bottom. And now you got to get to the top again. You started from the bottom. Now you're here. You started from the bottom. Now Cauldron Boy is, is really here. I believe in you, George. I believe in you. Whoop! 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 Not quite. Alright, we're gonna go. Okay, alright. We. Nope. Easy. Whoop! Nope. That works. <clears throat> that works. That works. I'll take it. Take what you can get, because you're trying to get to the top of this mountain with George the Cauldron Boy. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. We're almost back. We're almost back. Mm. This part is difficult, but we can get through it, because we've been through it multiple times together, George. Oh! See? Friedrich... Wait, Friedrich, was that the guy that was the god is dead and we killed him? Or is that somebody else? I can't remember. Baba? Baba Yaga, perhaps? I don't know that person, so I'm hoping I'm not insulting people by, by making a reference to Baba Yaga. Hua! But, um, you know, we're gonna get to the top of this, George. You and me, and Bennett Foddy, and you're gonna see your husband again. Um, and it's gonna be great. He's gonna give you a big old hug when you get home. You're going to give him a big old hug. You're going to have a lovely evening. You're going to be drinking lovely sparkling cider because it's the Christmas season. Your house is all decorated for Christmas. You got wreaths on the door. You got Christmas lights. Um, you also got a uh, menorah because Duncan is Jewish. And he, 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 in, he embraces your Christmas spirit and you embrace uh, Hanukkah. And it's great. You two live happily together. You didn't have to give up your religions to live together. And it's beautiful. It's a lovely, beautiful relationship that is just gay in the happy way and the homosexual way. Because as we know, Christmas is about being gay in the happy way. But there's nothing wrong with also making Christmas gay in the homosexual way.
There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go, George. No, you're going to get to your husband. Don't cry, George. There you go. We're making progress, George. You, you, your, your Mjolnir. And your cauldron. To be fair, George, at least you're in one of the comfier cauldrons because you were trying to you were trying to give her a good deal on a very pricey cauldron. That's the the Super Boiler XL Deluxe 3000, and you were giving her. The, it's made out of a hundred percent cast iron with um, a a, a non-stick coating on the inside, and it's the best. It's perfect for all all the soups. To be made, whether it be made out of rabbit, duck, or whatever. It's beautiful. It's the best cauldron on the market. And you're stuck inside of it, George. Because you were trying to prove to Baba Yaga that it would fit her needs, but... She, she duped you, George. She, she duped you. You got this. 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 Yeah, and we got we got we got we can do tricks too. We can launch ourselves. How many how many hammer three sixties can we do? You know one, <laughs> one it is. Um, no, it's great. Whoop! There you go. There you go, George. Whoa! Come on. Okay, there you go, there you go, you hooked it, and then swing! Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, blah, blah, blah. That's also why you're so good at this game, George, because you used to be a star baseball player, and it was great. Because, um, yeah, you, you used to you used to play ball with the pros. You were George, you played for the Love Town Hearts, and um, you were so good, you had to ret you, re you retired early, you made enough money, and you, you went into the, what your, your true dream of selling cauldrons to the world. Because you also make the cauldrons. You're also a profound uh, and renowned, profound and renowned uh, metal metallurgist, metal worker. And it's great. Whoop, there you go, George. That's actually what happened to your hair, is you didn't mean to cut it like that. It all just got burnt off in the, in the forge one day. And you're just like, well, that's all right. And you, you, you used it to your style. Duncan helped you out. He gave you, he, he made it look nice. He kind of trimmed it up a bit. Um, just for you, George, because he knew, he knew you, you, he knew you weren't happy with your haircut. But he made it look good, and he approved of it, and he appreciates you. Did I just, am I breaking the hammer? That was weird. Um, no, but he approves of your haircut, George, and he thinks it's all good. He helped you make it look beautiful, because uh, you used to have dreadlocks, um, and it was beautiful. You used to have lovely, lovely dreadlocks. You also used to be a reggae musician, and it was it was great as well. You also had a good career. Um, you you had a band with um, uh, Jenkins, the the vinyl record salesman, your husband Duncan, of course, and uh, Vinny the farmer. See, I appreciate all the the happy quotes, you know, because he's he's trying to like he, he's expecting me to be upset, but the thing is, is I've created an entire storyline out of this game. That no one could have foreseen. And it's that's what I like. Is I have <clears throat> Whoops a Doodle by Buddy Weed and his trio. <clears throat> that's alright. I, I like Whoops a Doodle by Buddy Weed and his trio. Because you know he's trying to cheer me up. Bennett thought he's, he's offering me things to cheer me up. But the thing is, is I'm not mad. Listen to the lovely music. Yeah. See, it's, that's the thing. It's because you just got to make fun about it. You know, that's the thing. Is you take hardships in life, you got to make good times out of them. You know? you gotta make you got to make good out of the bad, and then make the bad times good. Because that's, that's what you do in life. Is you take... Because life's going to give you bad times, so you better take those bad times and make them good. Because that way, they're all good times. And even the bad times, you can look back at and be like, they were bad. But we also had good in the bad. Because, you know, there will be good times to come, hopefully. Because um, there usually are. And, I mean, I can't give an absolute, because there are no absolutes in life, of course. But, you know, 
that's the thing is you, you gotta you gotta have a good outlook on life, and it's it's good. And my question is, why is the water green? Like, getting jamming out to the music. But no, but why is the water green? Are we next to like a radioactive waste plant? You also have to save your your people. You have to tell them the drinking water's bad, George. You, they can't drink the water no more. You got this, George. Boop. Boop. whoop -a. There you go, George. There you go, George. Because you got to get to the top to, to make your true love happy, George. And you got you to gotta save them from not only Baba Yaga, but now also bad drinking water. Hooah! There you go, George. There you go, George. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna try. That's my goal by the end of this one, this episode is to get back to the top to where we were before, and then next episode I'll be making progress up there with my good buddy George. Okay, the house is not good. I have to get off the log and into the house. So I have to take the log. I've got to use the log to swing myself up over the house. Otherwise, I can't get over it with Bennett Foddy. Just going to mess with that there. Oh, boy. No, I don't like that. Ah, I was trying to mess with my camera there, but that was that kind of changed my whole thing. Oh, serious. I don't think I do, though. I think, I, I think I've got this. I think I've, I think I've got this where I am right now. I think we're good with the mouse TV I'm at. Um... We just gotta get get over it with Bennett Foddy, you know. Am I stuck? Wasn't well, this awkward? There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted, but that, yeah, you got off the thing because we were kind of stuck there for a sec. That's all right. No, oh, there you are. Hello. Boop. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, almost had that. There you go. Oh. Ah, there you go. That's not the right way, but that's all right. Bennett Foddy, we are getting over it. Me and Georgie, the cauldron boy who wasn't formerly a cauldron boy, but now he's a cauldron boy because he's trapped in a cauldron by Baba Yaga, and we're making progress through this mountain slowly, but that's okay because we got no time limit, and that's okay. We're making progress, and that's okay with Bennett Foddy. And it's great. That's deep. Huh. Whittier. That's interesting. So uh, back where, kind of uh, down the road, there's a town called Whittier. Um, I doubt it was based off of this person. But, you know. Because you have a hammer. And you can get over it with a hammer. Your hammer's name is a Mjolnir. It's the hammer of the gods. The Norse wants to be specific. And you got this because you're a cauldron boy who was kidnapped by Baba Yaga. And you have to get back to save your one true love. And the town in which you love as well. Oh boy, I don't know what happened there, but that's all right. I'm critically accepting your tastes. It can only mean that you have no respect for Andre. See, it's funny because I have no audience, and I love like the the nine people I have subscribed, and by nine I think I actually mean seven. But that's all right because hey, you got to get over it with Bennett Forty. <laughs> Born to lose, Ted Daffin's Texans. It reminds me of SpongeBob. Got that steel string guitar. Sounds very Hawaiian esque. Are these people secretly the the writers of the SpongeBob music? 
like that that kind of like that steel kind of st string uh, guitar intro to freaking like the that when SpongeBob episodes. There you go. He's almost got like a Christmas voice to him, you know. Whee! <laughs> Getting over it with Bennett Foddy, do to do, do with Bennett Foddy. Climbing over barrels and flowery ledges with Bennett Foddy. We're climbing up a ledge with Bennett Foddy. Gotten George with the hammer and stuff, and we got over the ledge and things with Bennett Foddy. We are hammering up ledges and doing stuff like that, and then we're going down, and we don't care about cats except we do because cats are lovely and they're fluff balls and they love us even though when people say they don't they actually do because they're just fluffy things oh boy what's my recording time at 25 minutes all right oh we got we got we got time i'll go to for about another bit and hopefully we can get up there oh see progress in the negative direction Oh, not quite. That's all right. You just gotta get you gotta get that momentum built up, and through the power of momentum, through physics, we can get through this. I'm actually quite curious as to what physics engine they're using, because I'm very confused as to the physics of this game. Because this person must be incredibly ripped to launch themselves and a cauldron up a mountain. But hey, that's they have a they freaking rolled a nat twenty and a strength check, and they can do it. There you go. Nope. That's all right. There you go. There you go. Nope, not quite. There you go. Nope, oh, not quite. That's all right. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. Oh, our lovely Texas song ended. Whoop. 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 Whoop! I believe you. Whoop! There you go. Whoop! There you go. Whoop! There you go, Bennett Foddy. Or no, you're George. Bennett Bennett Foddy is just the moral support here, and the designer of the game. But you know, this isn't a game, George. This is a life and death situation. You got to get back to your. It's a life and death situation with no time limit. So technically, it's just a, a life situation. It would be funny. Like, based on how long you take to get over things. Um, oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. You're quoting iced tea. You know, I could use a bit of iced tea, you know? I, I like tea. Tea's good. I prefer ice, though. Because um, everyone's just like, ooh, hot tea's good. But, I mean, I don't mind hot tea as long as it's smothered in honey. But I prefer iced tea, you know? There we go, George! We're back! And on that note... I'm going to freaking end it here because we're back to the spot where it all began. And that's what matters, George. That is what matters. See you guys in the next episode.